of a sudden, our gun became illegal in the state of New York because we share a characteristic with the AR-15, the almighty pistol grip. And all of a sudden, our gun became uh, as evil as an AR-15 because we happen to hold on to it this way instead of this way. <laughs> and so essentially that brought our sales in New York State to a dead halt. We weren't able to sell until we could find a way to uh, comply with the law. And that became the odyssey uh, that we started um, trying to locate and, and come up with a, um, a suitable alternative to a pistol grip. But, uh, <laughs> try to find somebody in the state government after they pass this law that would actually point to a uh, workaround that we would have and say, yes, that's legal, no, that isn't legal, and this is why. Um, we came up with a multitude of different designs, um, mostly aftermarket off-the-shelf type designs, took it down to the state police barracks in Canandaigua. Is this legal? Mm, maybe. What do you mean maybe? It's either a yes or a no. We, we can't tell you. You have to call Aldi. So we call Aldi. We actually, in the meantime, talked to Ontario County Sheriffs, actually even talked to a uh, sitting judge in Canandaigua. Everybody said, we don't know. Don't know if it's legal, don't know if it isn't legal. Started calling down to Albany, couldn't find anybody that would actually talk to us in Albany that would say, yes, it's legal, no, it's not legal. Even if they said no, okay, great, why not? So we, we basically screwed around with it until we did manage to get a hold of um, a lawyer that sat on the SAFE Act Implementation Board. Uh, and the closest he would come to us to say it is legal is, well, it looks good to me. It's real <laughs> <laughs> can we have that in writing then? Would you put that on a piece of paper so we can? And basically he said, no, I can't. I'm not authorized to say that it's absolutely legal in writing. However, if I, you know, if it came in front of us, as far as I'm concerned, it looks legal to me because of the change. Uh, essentially, what we've done is similar to some of the other AR manufacturers. We've gone to a Thorson Custom uh, FRS 15 stock, which is, is kind of inside baseball, but most of you probably know what it is. It's, it's that ugly stock that came from California that takes the pistol grip. It kind of tilts it up like that, and you remove the butt stock, and you still have the buffer tube sitting there, and you got this kind of it's actually more comfortable than it looks. Um, but essentially, we started selling the weapon in August. But uh, also, as, as many of you know, last year, if you could screw it together and hang it on the wall, you could have sold it. Um, there was no problem selling guns last year. Uh, we had uh, many, many back orders, many orders that we could have filled, and many orders that we could have sold in New York State that essentially disappeared because we weren't able to get a ruling from anybody in Albany to tell us yes it's legal no it's not legal. We, uh, like I said, we finally started selling them in August uh, with Thorsten Custom Stock and we sold quite a few of them and we're still selling quite a few of them. Um, but uh, we've never did get uh, uh, Uncle Andy to put anything on a piece of paper that says looks good to him. Um, we still, to this day, are going on uh, lawyer interpretations, other um, manufacturers uh, releasing this type of uh, solution for New York State. Every other piece of the assault weapon uh, uh, evil feature list, we've managed to find a way to uh, alleviate, but that pistol grip was the one that stopped us in our tracks. And we lost 5 to 10% of our sales last year uh, based on that. And 